the truth. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. So the other day on my survival world, I came across this thing called the heart of the sea and I had no idea what it was. Turns out it's for it's for one of the new features of the beta, so I thought I'd make a video. We can explore the beta together and we'll figure out what, what the heart of the sea thing does and what these new conduits are, which are which are the newest addition to the betas in the aquatic update. So I set up a little world here we can take a peek. This is a conduit right here. Now this is what it looks like. But it doesn't really do much. You just put it down and it's that's it. But that's because it needs a specific structure to work. It's conduits are basically like beacons. I, I I'm pretty sure it's like an underwater beacon that's powered by prismarine, and they give you things that help you survive underwater. This is how you craft them. Um, you use the eight uh, nautilus shells around a heart of the sea. And, and you get one. So today, I'm gonna try to get one myself, see what it does, and go over it with you guys. Um, I'm kinda excited. So I gotta gear up first things first. I got some, I got some items here. We gotta go try to get ourselves some of the, 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 the Nautilus shells in a heart of the sea. Now the way you get the Nautilus shells is you could fish for them. Um, I could fish right here, but the more exciting way, I gotta find some of the new drowned. And, uh, I gotta see if I can find any that have the shell. Yo, here we go, here we go, here we go, I got one! See, he's got the shell in his hand there, and I'ma get him with the- Oh, there we are, and there's the Nautilus! Oh, come back, come back, come back! So here we go, there's one! Now, uh, uh, you need to get eight more, but we're on our way, we're on our way there. The next thing we gotta do is- well, now we gotta find a shipwreck, uh, because, um, I gotta- Oh, my, look at how beautiful this is. There we go, that looks like a shipwreck to me. Okay, so we can just hop down here. I gotta try to find, uh, well, a, a chest so that I can get a treasure map and then maybe, just maybe, I'll, I'll get the, uh, the heart of the sea. Where, where is, is there no chest? What kind of shipwreck is this? No, what is it? What's going? You got it. There's got to be one in here. Yeah, there we go. A, a treasure map. Perfect. Okay, I'm close. I'm close. It, I got to go this way. So let me find this treasure, and uh, and I'll be I'll be right back. All right. It should be it should be right around here. Maybe a little off to the side. Yeah, right up in here at this grass patch. Oh, we're really close. Oh, we're right there. All right, uh, time to dig. Okay, okay, we got it, we got it. So, we take a peek, and there we go, we got one. A heart of the sea, also some other stuff. This is not a bad one at three music discs. I need something this good in a survival world. Okay, we'll take the heart of the sea, leave everything else, and that means we're ready to go. Let's go make ourselves a conduit. All right, so we got all we need now. We can finally make ourselves a, a conduit. So there we are. Now, how do I get this thing to work? Well, let me show you. First things first, we gotta find our spot underwater here. Let me make sure no one's gonna kill me. We got a perfect area. So what you do, what you gotta do is ver- oh. All right, hold on, did not mean to place that down. <laughs> okay, the prismarine frame is almost complete. So what you do is you just build a square around it, uh, it leaving one block in between the prismarine and the conduits. It's gotta be filled with water though. Um, so once that's done, just place your last block and we sh there we go, we got ourselves some power. Now once you activate this thing, the, the heart of the sea is gonna show up inside of the conduit, you get all these cool effects, and it gives you a power, as you can see in the right. So the power of the conduit depends on how much you put around it, so you can put more and more prismarine, uh, ar oh, hey, Hey there, buddy. As I was saying, you can put more prismarine around it like this to increase the strength and, uh, and I guess range of it. So just keep on building and, and, and you can keep 
just keep making it more powerful. A full frame is made up of 42 blocks, so uh, you could just keep going with this and build a full entire frame for maximum uh, conduit power, but we'll leave it at that for now. Now, what, what does the power actually do? You can see it's up there, but, but what's it doing to me? Well, it gives me underwater night vision, it also gives me water breathing, and it can also allow me to break blocks even faster uh, without having enchantments, so it's, <laughs> it's, it's pretty solid. So the big the frame the better really and the range can get up to 96 blocks if you have a full frame which is pretty solid um so i've gone ahead and got rid of my other effects as you can tell i just got the conduit power so i want to show you guys the difference so if i were to break the conduit by doing that it's gonna close and then i'm gonna lose the abilities and i should drown uh fairly quickly once the thing goes away is it gonna go away and, oh, there we go. All right, so as you can see, all the effects are gone, and I'm about to die underwater. But if I break this, the effects come back to life. I get the night vision and the water breathing, and I'm just cooling. And I can break stuff faster now. It's, uh, oh, it's lovely. So that's the conduit. Now, you might be asking, well, it's cool underwater, but can I build one above water? We... The short answer... Yes? So I'm gonna do this one in creative, but here we go. We got we got a conduit here. It's it's all set up. This should be a proper structure, but it's not working because there's no water. However, if I were to put water all around it, it, it doesn't even have to be a full block. It can be flowing. This is... Uh, I should have thought this through better. Oh, there we go. Okay, so the conduit is working. Now, I, uh, I should probably uh, get rid of the flowage here. Let me just try to block that. Oh, it's... It's gonna keep coming. I think I got a solution for this. So will just put some glass around the edge and there we go. Yeah. So we got ourselves the working conduit. It's up in there. But as you can tell, I don't have any effects. And there's a reason. It's because I'm not touching water. So if I were to if I were to go ahead and make myself a little water here, I should get the conduit effects. Right? Any any second now, come on. Do I have to be fully under? Do I gotta be fully submerged? Oh yeah, I do. Oh, that's cool. But that's not all, folks. That's not all. As you can tell right when I get out, I'm gonna lose the effects. There is a way around this, and it's uh it, it's it's pretty cool. So if I were to use a command, toggle downfall, what's gonna happen is is it's gonna rain on top of me, and then I'll be covered in water, and the conduit should give me the effects. It should. Um, so I'll give it a second here, and we can wait this one out. Yeah, never mind. Okay, I guess uh, I guess I was wrong. <laughs> I suppose I was wrong. So it does not work in the rain. F false alarm. False alarm. But you can build one above water. Uh, you just you still need to be in water. So. So there's really no point. <laughs> Absolutely none. Well, ladies and gents, that's all I had for today. Thank you for sticking through the video, watching it with me. I learned just as much as you did today. Um, it's pretty cool. I might have to use this in my survival world. If you guys have any ideas on where to put it and, and reasons to use it, let me know. Um, I'm excited, though. So I'm still, I still got a little bit of learning to do, but I, I got the basics down. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll have the Wikipedia thing. Not Wicca. It's, it's a fake Wick. I don't... The Minecraft wiki. I'll have the Minecraft wiki below so you can read more about it as it's updated and changed. But that's, that's all I got for today. Thank you so much for watching. Stay frosty, my friends. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.